Hello Sagittarius, this is Queen Amon Rod coming to you with your general reading. Sagittarius, we are coming down to the last days of this particular cycle. So we had a full moon in Virgo. Hopefully you sat down and meticulously look at everything in your life and say, if it's causing me to hold on to other people's emotional baggage, I need to drop kick it out of my universe so I can focus on the things that I prayed for and said that I was going to do with my life. And let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. I'm talking to you wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart. I got the questions for the moon in Pisces for those of you all who like the questions. And if you have your journal, your digital and your, your digital journal and your digital calendar, the links are below. It's always optional. If you want to get those, the total is $5 for and you can buy they sold separately. So the link is below in the description. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Ow. All right. First card out of the deck is the chariot card. Here we have La Bruja. Here we have the will, the year. Here we have the coexist, the star card, and also the nine of pentacles, right? Here we have the chariot card. Source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road and, and breaking a spell, like saying that, you know what, you can coexist with energies that are, you can coexist with other stars, right? You can know, because every, there's more than one star shining in the sky and somebody's going to actually feel uh, lucky. Somebody's going to feel like, okay, this is your year. So it's just like, you know what, you can, you can shine with other stars. There's more than one star shining in the, the sky and you can definitely coexist, right? You can be in spaces. It doesn't have to uh, be dis disagreeable and that kind of thing. You just got to know what star power is. Star power is, hey, I know what my purpose on this planet is. God gave me specific gifts and talents to help better my life and also better other people's lives. And there's more than one star shining in the sky. Everybody has their own God-given gifts and talents and boom, I'm, let me focus on mine, right? This is what's going to lead somebody to nine of pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. So somebody is definitely meticulously looking at themselves and seeing what makes you shine. And you don't have to compare yourself to other stars shining in the sky, like outside. All those stars shining together in the sky is, in, is illuminating the sky and actually inspiring other people. So some people may be inspired by you more than they're inspired by others. Sometimes they may be inspired by others more than they're inspired by you. But whatever, source is saying, the, the frequency that you're on is vibrating high, okay? All righty. Here we have the Emperor card. Here we also have the Page of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Moon card. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool card. Yep. Somebody is definitely saying, you know what? I don't feel foolish. You know, I'm, I'm leaving the past me behind. I believe in myself and that's all that matters, right? It doesn't matter if other people believe in whether you have a purpose or not. Source is saying, add some structure to your fire. Get serious about adding structure to all of these ideas that you have. You don't have any competition. There's more than one star shining in the sky. Here we have the full card. And so you definitely, you certainly can coexist with somebody who feels changed, liberated, and free. In the past, you may have felt foolish, like hanging out with low vibrating energies and dragging you down to a low frequency and all of that. So that you got somebody clean house. Somebody says, listen, I'm tired of paying people who don't believe in themselves. So therefore the only form of payment is, you know, like I said before, is just, you know, they're not focusing on their legacy. So here we have the 10 of pentacles. So you're so you're focusing on yours. Here we have the page of wands and we also have the 10 of cups. Source is definitely putting you around some new energies that everybody's focusing on legacy. Everybody's focusing on legacy. Well, that's like all the, the employees, like for instance, um, the employees that you may, I mean, your colleagues that you may be working with in your job, whatever industry you're in, it doesn't even really matter. Some of those people, they come to work, they get their job done. They take a portion of their paycheck and they start a business while they're working there. That's a, that's two streams of income. They could have other streams of income. They're focusing on building a legacy, investing, circulation of wealth. So even if something happened with their job, they've invested in something else. Somebody is locked in and laser focused. All right, Sagittarius, that's, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Remember, as we get closer and closer to this last day, uh, the ninth is when this particular cycle ends. The enemy within, not outside of you, but the enemy within is drawing you backwards, trying to pull you back into chaos and confusion, right? I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Pisces so that you can document it in your digital journal and also your digital calendar. So let's get in. Yeah, let's, let's keep it going. So yeah. You're not calling somebody else a fool. No, none of those things. Somebody's like, okay, I'm good enough. I'm worthy. 
I'm a star in my own right, and that's what I'm focusing on, right? So here we have the Hermit card. So you had to get by yourself. This is attached to Virgo. We're not talking about any Virgos that you know. That old you that was lamenting over something, I'm so mad, I'm so frustrated, and I wasted my time. The, the new you is like, okay, I'm focusing on how I'm building my legacy. I have at least eight streams of income in me, and that's I need to get to work. I need to stop overthinking this, and I need to get to work. I need to start planting some new seeds, right? Focus on me. And so Source is going to speed up some things for you. Here we have um, the Six and Eight of Wands. Source is going to speed up some things because first it comes in as ideas, right? First it comes in as like, okay, you got a lot of ideas about a lot of things. And so any ideas that cause you to get angry or takes you down to a low frequency to a point where you feel overwhelmed again, okay, I need to toss that into a burning bowl because I got a lot of ideas coming through and I don't need to be, I don't need to react to every single negative idea that I have. Some things don't need any air whatsoever. I got some other ideas for some other things that's going to make me some money. Remember, money is not everything, but if it's, if you're using the money to create opportunities and jobs for other people, you're not going back to burning yourself out over some stuff because some ideas came across your mind. You got to know these moon phases, and that's what I'm here for, to help you with these moon phases, right? To help you to stay focused, stay locked in and laser focused. Here we also had everything is fine. Everything is fine. During this uh, last quarter moon phase... That's where a lot of, where everybody feels real tired. Like that's why I've been telling everybody, if you've been feeling a little tired and you feel like you need to shut down your night early so you can go to bed and get some rest, if that means you go to bed at five o'clock in the evening, hey, look, I need to get my rest. I'm turning my cell phone off and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm focused, focus, 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 right? Or some nights you may feel like I'm going to bed at two o'clock in the morning. However, whatever, sources like don't waste your time allowing, you know, don't waste it, right? So soulmate is in your life helping you with that or even coming across your path to try to help you. Here we have the star card um, so that you can stay away from any energies in your life that you feel like left you vulnerable and uncovered in a drunken state. Drunken doesn't also, also always mean alcohol. Drunken could mean in a depressed state in a, when I was on medication and, and I, I, you know, it just left me uncovered and unprotected. So it's saying to you, Get away from that mindset that is somebody else's job to cover you. This is like CYA, cover yours, right? So source is saying to you, when you learn how to cover yourself and, and not put so much, because I feel like the more time any human being invests in, uh, you know, environments where you feel like it's family, we're, we're part of the same job. So it could be the uh, job family or uh, industry you're in, we're, that's a part of the family, whatever. The more time you invest in it and you just keep going with the flow, hoping that people know how to cover and protect you when either you didn't tell them how you need to be covered and protected because everybody doesn't understand what's going on. People got other stuff going on in their lives. Remember, this is the year of wealth and you don't have to get the wealth by stepping on anybody. There's more than one star shining in the sky. Some people are working on, they're still grieving from being left uncovered and unprotected. So they may not even know what they know. They may not even have a clue. So Source is saying, this is your opportunity to close out cycles of feeling like you were a foal. Close it out. Just close it out in your personal and your professional life. You're having a tower moment. So yeah, that tower moment lets me know that whoever was in uh, instigating or and hurting, I mean, you know, like people, these two cards right here, Scorpio and Aries are also ruled by, um, ruled by Mars, right? Scorpio is ruled by Jupiter also. But, um, I mean, excuse me, um, uh, the judgment card, um, Pluto source is saying to you to go back to that way of being, you know, I got to keep pouring so much time into stuff. It's just going to be triggering for somebody. It's like setting a trap for yourself that you fall into. So, but the, the more and more you stay focused on your purpose source is saying to you, if there are other energies that's, that's sitting, using their time to try to set a trap for you, they're going to fall in a trap. So that's what I'm trying to tell you is like, when you, when you understand how energy works, right? Karma energy works. You don't have to wish anything. I, I got to be on guard. I got to keep my eyes peeled open because just in case they say or do something. So it's just like, get your rest. Everything is fine. People are not putting this, this shady stuff about you online. None of that stuff. And if they were, they hurt themselves. I got to watch them to see, you know, what they saying about me. I got to no, know. Source wants you to sharpen your craft. That's what Source wants you to do. Sharpen your, you don't have any competition. Somebody must have grown up in a really competitive household. 
So here we have the three of um the three of um wands. Obviously, three and six is nine. Now that you're in the light about some stuff, you're not in a wilderness situation. So it's just saying it's time for you to sharpen your craft. Because again, here we have the nine of um, nine of pentacles. You and your person, soulmate, are focusing on financial independence. And your financial independence could be significantly different than somebody else's financial independence. All you need to know is you are moving towards financial independence. And that's all, that's all that matters to you is that you are moving towards. So right now is when you're moving towards Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow, Sagittarius. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come that can be handled each moment. So here are the questions for the moon in Pisces as you're continuing to flush out any toxins in your spirit as you, you're moving forward to, um, you know, like I said, continue financial independence. Pisces energy brings this moon and Pisces that's coming up. It brings waves of emotions and feelings that we can't even articulate. So situations trigger these on the subconscious level, and it might take a while before we can finally see it. That's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to help somebody to keep your water so flushed out. You see the cracks in your own foundation. The moment I see a crack, it's like driving down, driving down a highway and a boom, a rock hits your, um, a rock hits your window. And all of a sudden you see like a little tiny crack, right? I'm trying to help somebody get that thing sealed before it cracks and it just breaks completely. So when I say, you know, listening to water sounds on a regular basis, not only is it calming your fire down, it's helping to reroute, like flush all of those burnt ashes out of your, your, um, out of your universe and helping you to cre come on, come up with more creativity. That's what I'm just trying to help somebody to do that. It's like, so it's just trying to bring you and somebody to financial independence. That's going to help you on your legacy, your legacy wealth, the 10 of pentacles. That's going to help add more money to your legacy. I add value to the world. Guess what? Everybody adds value to the world. Source needs you to see yours though. Get away from people who are constantly hating on other people and they got to, you know, you, you sometimes you don't even know if people are being sincere with compliments. So they just balance it out. We're talking about the onk. Balance it out. Somebody could have had been much, around so much toxic masculinity that somebody may have felt like, okay, I got to be raw, you know, growling and I got to be, I got to, I got to be like that in order to survive. So it's like, you're not in survival mode. You're not in a wild jungle. You're in human form. It's time to leave the circus and say, hey, look, I need, I have purpose on this planet. I can be, I'm trying to live a softer life, right? And I'm operating in my, in my meekness, not weakness. People got to walk around and show how tough they are. They operating from a weak space. So it's just like, you don't need to do all of that. This is a year of wealth. If you want to receive more wealth, also start with receiving wealth of, you know, like I said, sealing up any cracks in your foundation, patience, right? I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working in my highest good. So sealing up the cracks in your foundation would start with family. Where did those cracks in family start around money? You know, how, you know, stability. So when we talk about the root chakra and the sacral chakra, Whereas the root chakra is about stability, stillness, and planning, right? So what, what stillness, planning, and stability do you need to focus on, like in terms of creating your own legacy? I'm going to tell you, like I was telling other signs is you can take a little bit from mom's side of the family, a little bit from dad's side of the family and say, okay, I'm creating my own legacy. And what does that look like, right? I don't need to carry all that emotional baggage from my family, both sides into my own legacy that I'm building. I can heal that. I can tell them, hey, y'all need to carry your own emotional baggage. I'm trying to heal mine so I don't pass that on to my kids, grandkids, great grandkids. I'm, I need to heal mine, whatever that look, however that looks like. So that's what I'm saying for you all. So the questions for the moon in Pisces so that you don't get overwhelmed and you can put this in your um, digital journal is could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? The second question, uh, Sagittarius, is could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? The fourth is can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is do you clean and replenish your energy daily? That would be like 
you know, um, water watsu, that could be um, emotional release techniques, hip opening yoga poses, uh, massages are also good, and also juice fast are also good. So yeah, 24, I am generous, right? You have a heart of gold, Sagittarius, and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. And that's what somebody needs to look at. It's like, am I carrying my family's emotional baggage? And so do I want to pass that down to my mentees or my mentor or to my colleagues? I want to pass that emotional baggage to my friends, you know, or do to my children. Like, do I want to, my grandkids? I want to pass that down to them. And so I, I'm sure the answer is a resounding no. Sources saying then yeah, you're going to have to start making your family carry their own baggage. Somebody's going to say, no, no, not today. I need to rest. I need, I can't answer everybody's phone call. You calling me about the same stuff. Uh-uh. We're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. Today is the day you fix your problems or you come with some kind of a solution that we can kind of mull over together and then I can help you, you yes or no, but I'm not going to solve, I'm not carrying everybody's emotional baggage. So, yeah, so let's see. So here we have the answers you seek are coming. A Your peace is paramount. Your bitter ex's lover wants you. Lord have mercy. Somebody misses you and uh, take a leap of faith and then also create the change that you want. Yep. So anyway, you're moving forward. We're not going back to no ex nothing. So you just learn lesson to whatever you learn. Sources saying take a leap in this month of March forward. You're not falling back into anything. You're taking a leap forward. Just because some people miss you, that's good for them. They, they miss you. So... You know, you just send out good energy to the universe and focus on you. This is a time to focus on you. That's what I have for you. I will um, I will see you all in the next reading. And then I'll, for those of you who are on the Patreon side, there's a video going up between today and tomorrow that's going to also speak more to this new moon in Pisces that we have coming up on the 10th of March. So mark your, ca mark your calendars for that. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.